All right, the next paper, it is about a case study. Uh, uh, the case study is about the elliptic blazing surface. The paper is prepared by uh, Technical University of Cluj Napoca in cooperation with uh, two design companies, uh, Plan 31 and Gordias Limited. My name is uh, Jolt Nagy. I am Associate Professor of uh, Technical University of Cluj Napoca, and you can see my details on the screen. Uh, for further question, uh, just let me uh, know on, on email. Uh, a short summary about the presentation. Uh, it is structured on four parts. We have a part which is related to the geometry, uh, the structural concepts of the uh, structure. Uh, we have some design details and challenges. And finally, uh, we have some conclusions. The geometry of the structure, we have a roof area, uh, which is a rectangular one. Uh, the area it is marked with a hedged area. Uh, we can see the reinforced concrete uh, columns uh, indicated with the red uh, uh, squares. And the yellow marked area was the cutout for the elliptic skylight. The skylight had uh, uh, the width of 10 meter uh, length of 27 meter and the height around 2.6 meter. Uh, the perimeter beam was uh, set it up for 1.4 meter uh, due to some uh, services and uh, for the services was necessary to uh, provide some uh, cellular holes. This was uh, according to the diameter of the uh, ventilation tubes, uh, which was necessary to have around 800 millimeter. We can see the uh, structural weights. Uh, it is around 20 tons for the skylight and 130 tons for the roof structure. All the structure was uh, designed with uh, hollow sections and the assemblies was uh, realized with bolted connections. Uh, about the structural concepts, uh, very shortly, uh, this was developed according to fit for all load combinations. Uh, the major load combination was the snow because as we can see in the picture, we had an area uh, marked with the red arrow, uh, which is creating snow accumulation due to the uh, different height uh, in the uh, roof levels, uh, which is uh, creating the non-uniform loads and non-uniform loads bring some non-uniform uh, deformation. Finally, we decided to have 10 points for the support. We can see uh, marked with this uh, red uh, bullets the uh, supporting points for the uh, skylight and due to the uh, stiffness differences between the space truss and the plane trusses longitudinally, we decided to not create any uh, support point for the uh, skylight on this transverse trusses. For the design, uh, we used a complex uh, shell type finite element models to check the skylight. Uh, of course, for the whole structure, we have used a bear, uh, a bar based uh, 3D uh, structure model. For the uh, shell type finite element model, we have used the spring stiffnesses which we derived from the uh, different relative deformations we have intercepted from the 3D uh, calculation of the bar model. And of course, the main uh, problem was to uh, avoid the excessive stresses, which can be uh, very dangerous for the glazing surface. Uh, the stress concentration uh, around the support uh, creates uh, some uh, local buckling problems on the web uh, of the of the beam, we can see here uh, some uh, local effects. Uh, and finally, we decided to eliminate uh, the cells in the region of the uh, support. Anyway, the uh, supporting beam was created with uh, a double uh, web, and the web was connected also with uh, some. Uh, circular tubes, uh, which created the uh, perimeter of the uh, web holes. 
And here we can see the uh, finite model of the uh, skylight with the eliminated uh, circular cells around the supporting points. Uh, furthermore, we needed to uh, give an increased attention for the construction technology uh, from the early stage uh, of the design. It was uh, a must to have uh, the order or the erection of uh, the structure elements uh, due to the limited access for the crane operation because uh, the uh, development of a building on the ground uh, floor and uh, the uh, concept was for the skylight to erect the whole structure in one single piece. Uh, here we can see the uh, stages uh, for the erection. First, we created the perimeter beams uh, with green. Then we erected the space trusses marked with red color. Then uh, the next one was the yellow uh, longitudinal trusses. Uh, in stage four, we erected the gray elements and we can see the central one are serving as support for the skylights. Uh, the purple element, it gives the uh, perimeter support for the uh, skylight structure and the last stage, it was the erection of the uh, skylight structure. About the connection, uh, we uh, tried to use the standardized method of Eurocode uh, 3 part 1.8. Uh, this was very difficult to apply because uh, the connections uh, given there for uh, uh, the tubular sections gives and cover only a few situations. And for this reason, most of the structural joints uh, we uh, modeled with finite element uh, modeling. And we can see here a lots of uh, particular joints which we analyzed with the help of the finite element modeling technique. About the erection stages of the roof structure, here we can see some uh, partial uh, erection part of the structure. We can see uh, the perimeter being erected on the top of the roof structure. And in the uh, final picture, we can see the erection phase of the whole uh, glazing surface. Uh, we can see here uh, the preparation of the erection. Uh, here we can see uh, pieces as uh, the uh, structure was uh, prepared for, for uh, the glazing surface and how it was uh, welded together in one single piece. And finally, just to conclude, uh, we have seen a whole arsenal of sophisticated details and the analysis to uh, make the calculation for uh, the roof structure and the uh, skyline structure. Uh, the complication was given by the irregularity in the plan and the uh, uh, non-uniform uh, loading. Uh, the large deformation between the supporting points gives adverse effects on the skyline glazing surface due to the non-uniform variable loads and for uh, analyzes uh, purpose, we have used the complex 3D model, which was very useful for identification of the sensitive zones. And finally, we can say that the details and the erection was successfully managed. Thank you for your attention. And if you have further question, just let me know.